So once the quiz has been added, as you can see here, there is one more setting that we need to make. As I said, so that the quiz actually appears in the progress of the students and they can actually retrieve their progress from the different quizzes that they are attempting during the course. Now, what you need to do is we need to go to settings and this time to the grading option. Now, once we go to the grading option, this basically deals with uh, the grading aspect. So first thing that you're able to see is uh, when are you, you know, setting the passing criteria. So as of now, it has been set to 50. If you want to reduce, you can just shift this. So let's say I want to call below 30 fail and above 30 pass. So this is the overall grading scale. Next, you have some grading rules and policies. Now, what we are basically going to be uh, changing or updating is the assignment types. Now, this basically consists of the categories and labels for the exercises that are gradable. So, as I said, if you want the quizzes score to be actually included in the progress, you need to include that here. Now, how we do that is we actually have all of these assignment names already created here. So they have created one for homework, one for lab, midterm exam, final exam. If you want, you can follow a similar pattern. If you don't, you just have to delete the ones available. So I'll just delete this. Delete this. I mean, you just have to keep it as what you would like to. I'll just keep these two. So one is, let's say, the final exam. And another one, let's say, is the assignment. Now, you may also give an abbreviation here. So let's say, assignment. Let's say, assign. Now, here you need to provide what is the weightage out of the total grade for this. So let's say I want to give this a 75% weightage. The number of subsections in the course that contain problems of this assignment type. So how many subsections will have assignments? So let's say 10. Number of assignments that can be dropped. So depending on what you want to set, you can just set it here. Let's say one I call as quiz like the one I just did. Let's call it QZ, weight of the total grade 25, total number, let's say I will have 5 quizzes and that's it. If you want to add a new assignment type, you can always click here and make sure if you make any changes in the settings part, click on save changes. So once you're ready with this, just click on save changes. This is done. Now, one small change that one needs to make there, go to the content outline and the part where we added the quiz, we are going to grade that as the quiz. So we added in this particular unit, the quiz here. First, let's publish it. And now let's make it gradable. So we have published this entire unit. Now here, once you click on this part here, the subsection, once you click here, it will show grading. Make it graded as quiz. Here you can provide a due date. So this is till when can a person attempt the quiz. So I had scheduled this for 21st Jan. Let's say I allow the students to attempt the quiz till 22nd January. Once I'm done, I just have to click on save. So with this, what we have been able to do with this particular configuration, we have set that this should be used for grading the student and the due date for this is set as 22nd January. The same is shown here as well. So this is how we can actually regulate assessments of the students.